Hello girlfriends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Now today we're going to be looking into a type of face firming and lifting technology that has been getting a lot of buzz. It uses electrical currents, or more specifically, low voltage electrical currents known as microcurrents. Now you can get it done professionally and it's called a microcurrent facial, also known as a non-surgical facelift. And there are also devices that allow you to do this from home. Now to a different extent, both of them are supposed to give you very dramatic and immediate results. So today we'll be doing an in-depth review of a home device. We're only testing out one device, but it's not a sponsor episode. I'm really excited to try this out, but I'm also curious to know what the difference is between a professional treatment and a home treatment. So we are going to try both those things out. So how does it work? Apparently, the microcurrent is supposed to stimulate your facial muscles, give it a workout, and also stimulate collagen production. And if you use it for a long period of time, it's supposed to lift, tone, and firm your skin. So actually, right, this isn't a new thing. Physical therapists have been using microcurrents to relieve muscle pain, to speed up recovery, and so much more. But then when it comes to beauty purposes, there isn't really much scientific data out there. But then, I have been looking at a lot of reviews, and the results look amazing! So I'm actually uh, very excited to try this out. But before we get to that, we have an aesthetic doctor with us, Dr. Magdalene Liao, to answer some questions. Hi, Dr. Mag! Hi, Shuen. Hi! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for coming on board. Okay, first question is, how does microcurrent therapy work on our face? So microcurrent uses um, low voltage current to mimic the body's own electrical activity. So our body has electrical impulses they continuously flow through our cells and tissues to perform um, essential functions of the body. So when microcurrent therapy is applied to the skin, it helps to facilitate muscle contraction and muscle tone. It also helps to optimize your skin's uh, metabolic activity. Is microcurrent therapy widely available in Singapore? The opinions on whether microcurrent therapy for anti-aging is still somewhat divided because research and data is still not conclusive. So that is why a lot of clinics and even um, salons, they don't commonly offer it as part of their service at the moment. But it's more common in countries like, for example, Australia and the States. Okay, now let's get to the device. So there are quite a few out there. There is the one from New Face, from Zip, from Touch Beauty, and also there's one from 7E Myolift. And the one that we have is the Bear by Foreo Sweden. So I am really excited to try this out because like I said, there were a lot of great reviews on microcurrents in general, but then there were also some uh, reviews that were not so good. Like uh, people who tried the microcurrent devices would get facial twitches and then also headaches, uh, a metallic aftertaste and there were some doctors who tried them out and were like more lukewarm about it. So we'll leave the links to the other reviews down below, you can check them out if you want. So we have the two metallic spheres that deliver the current. So there's basically only one button, it turns it on and off and it allows you to change the intensity of the microcurrent. So as with all Foreo devices, you can actually link this to the app but it can be used with or without. So to use it, you first must have a completely clean face and then you will apply a serum. So you can use either the one that they provide or you can use one of your own, just make sure that it's water-based. So in terms of direction, horizontal on the forehead, vertical on the cheek, and then on the jaw also vertical, and the neck horizontal and up. And you want to stay away from this area. And they say that you cannot use this more than once in 24 hours, so make sure you don't overdo it. <laughs> so it does seem pretty safe to use, but I guess if you're introducing microcurrents to your body, then um, I think it's better to err on the side of caution. So we have some questions for Dr. Meg. I am going to be testing a microcurrent device. What are some of the things that I need to look out for or not do? It's very common for people to think that the stronger the current you use, the more effective the results. But Actually, when you use a strong current, it can cause um, things like discomfort and even skin burns. So a good rule of thumb is, when you use your microcurrent therapy at home, um, if you feel your muscle twitching, the current is already too strong. You should feel little to no sensation. It's perfectly normal to feel almost nothing because that mimics the, the natural electrical activity of your own body. The current in our bodies are all very low. So, the current that you use on your face should also be kept very low. So when the current is too strong, another problem is you may overstimulate those facial muscles and you can cause stronger contractions, worsening of your fine lines and wrinkles, pulling down uh, muscles or overstimulating muscles that pull your skin down. So that is the reverse of what you're actually trying to do. The absolute reverse. <laughs> 
It's like you're doing your treatment every day to make your face worse. So for home devices, is there a potential to like misuse it? The only potential of misusing it is when you don't keep to the instructions that they already say in the labels. I mean, if you notice anything unusual out of the ordinary, like skin burns, even skin redness, you should have little to none um, redness in the skin as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. Right. Thank you so much, Dr. Meg. That was really no informative. No problem. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So this is around $430. Now, other microcurrent devices, they range from like 100 something to 800 something. And if you go for professional microcurrent sessions, they range from like 100 something to 300 something. And where are we? We thought it would be great to try out a professional microcurrent treatment to see how it's done and how it feels. So what we're going to do is half professional microcurrent treatment and half Oreo. And we are here at the Face Place who has very kindly let us try it out. So here we have Sandy who is the owner of the Face Place and she's going to be doing the treatment for me. Okay, so we're going to do the left side of the face. Mm -hmm. Alright, what is going to happen? So I'm now going to put a conductive gel. So this is pure aloe vera gel. Mix with a little bit of water and it will help conduct the microcurrent into the facial muscles. Wow! Oh, it looks scary, but it's... Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to look like that. There are many types of microcurrent uh, devices in the market. It doesn't matter really as to how many prongs you have on a device. The discharge is the most important part. Ooh! Oh, it's buzzy. How do you feel? Interesting. It feels a little bit like, you know when you have sensitive teeth, but then not unpleasant. The good thing about getting it professionally done is because we can do this. So one prong uh, acts as like the anchor mm. and then the other one serves to pull the facial muscles in the opposite mm. direction like this. But if you use like a home-based device, you can only do like one direction. So right now, um, I can't really feel any like current or anything. It kind of feels more like a very light vibration. It feels very therapeutic. Like everything is really smooth. I can feel like a little bit of a tiny biting sensation. But generally, it still just feels like a massage. And ooh, uh, ooh I felt that. No, oh, no, 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 yeah, no okay. not a bad thing. But I just went, Zzz. how come that was strong, but then the rest of it was okay when it was the same current? That's the different muscle, like a different muscle line. Like this one is like the one that's going this way, uh -huh. but this one is the one that's going this way. <gasps> and also, I think like a different fat distribution underneath your skin. That one we can't really tell like where the fat is. So right. like, the more fat you have, then are more resistant to the current. So what are the changes that I can expect to see after this? The facial muscles will be more lifted. How do you tell will be maybe if you compare like the size of it mm. and also the facial contours, like the nasal labor force, that's the most um, prominent one. Right. Yeah, for the bottom of the part of the face, like the V shape, la, that's what you are aiming for. How long do the effects last? So the difference will be seen maybe in just one facial, but that upkeep, it depends on person to person, yeah. So I've just finished treatment on the left side of my face. So now I have my bring your own microcurrent and I'm going to be trying it on the right side of my face. I'm gonna try at like a three first and see how that feels. Okay, so I oh, that smarted. It felt like it had a bit of a shock. So I'm gonna bring it down to two. Because the buzzing is I feel not from the electro current, it's from the pulse safe. Oh wow, that smarts too. Why is this smarting more than that? That's so strange. I mean, I do like a bit of smarting, like, I just feel like, oh, it's working. It's so weird, it gets like to about this part and then it goes like, it feels like an electric shock and actually it hurts a little bit, which is so weird. Because just now, on the higher settings that she tried, right, I didn't feel this stinging sensation. It was more like ants biting and then after that, it was like, you know when you hit a funny bone, that kind of feeling? Whereas with this, it feels like it's smarting. That one was like black and this one was like red ends. <laughs> if you want to compare like the biting sensation, it was like a lot sharper. And I'm on the lower setting. Maybe I'll try my forehead and we see how that goes. I don't know whether it's a vibration or the what. Like I can feel it all the way up to my scalp here. See? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. In terms of the experience, it was interesting because I could feel the smarting and the stinging a lot more from the Foreo than I did from the professional treatment. I'm not sure if it's the way that I'm using it or what, but it was already on the lower setting. So I need to figure out, I'm going to look into that and see how that goes because I do want to try this out for another like one, two weeks and see what the results will be like. 
So the day before the treatment, I actually had been having a bit of an eczema flare-up. It was going on for like a few days, so my skin was still a little bit dry from that and also a little bit red. And what I noticed was like right after the treatment, like the day after, it went down. Like the flakiness went down a little bit and also my skin felt a little bit firmer and less sensitive. It wasn't like a whole lot but it was definitely an improvement. So when I use this, I've been using more gel because on that day when we first used it, I was getting a lot of zappiness so we think that maybe the gel was an issue so I put a little bit more gel but I also realised that uh, it takes quite a lot of gel to build like a thicker layer, like a thick enough layer for that and it feels a little bit um, heart pain. <laughs> To use so much because it's not cheap! So what I have here with me is some aloe vera gel which I'm going to use instead and let's see if that helps. I am still getting zappiness like on the top of my head which is really weird. Like once it gets to this part it starts going and I can feel it all the way up to here but then this part has gotten better with the use of the gel so um, yeah. I feel like my skin overall has gotten a little bit firmer. The texture has even out a bit is less bumpy so I don't know how much of that is because the eczema went away or how much of that is because of the treatment but I do feel like there is a difference. In terms of um, like because it's supposed to help like firm and lift and all that I think I would like to hold off on judgement on that a little bit first because also the other thing was the day after the treatment I got my period and so um, now I'm thinking like that bloatedness was probably from my period so I'm just gonna wait a while first and see if there's any difference in terms of like the lifting without like the period being involved. I'm actually really liking the treatment so far and I'm really enjoying using this because it's pretty fast and it's very easy to use. It kind of reminds me of like my reefer roller but like this one I guess maybe has more microcurrents. Overall it feels moisturized and it feels very comfortable. Okay so it's at like the two month mark now I believe and I'm really enjoying using the Foreo Bear. Like I feel like the elasticity, there's been an improvement there. I'm not sure if there's a lot of lifting per se but I do kind of see it sometimes especially when I do under the cheekbones. I do feel like it's a bit of a lift here. I enjoy using it, it's really fun. I've also been able to take up my uh, tolerance to about a three, which is quite cool. So I feel like I'm getting like more, <laughs> more of it working uh, for the same amount of time that I'm using it for. And it doesn't really sting. So it's been almost four months now and I must say I really love using this. It's a great pick-me-up in the morning. It helps to wake my skin up and also, I mean with the vibrations and with the current, it just feels like a little buzz in the morning. So I do feel a lift. Another thing that I've been doing is also actually I have this eyebrow that is a bit lower than this eyebrow. So I have also been using it to push up this eyebrow and I feel like it's a bit more even. So it's been a journey for me finding the right serum to use it with. I tried like three different types so Ella Vera gel, wait I'll show you. So okay, first of all, I didn't choose this, like someone mixed up my order and I got this instead. Then I thought okay, might as well try and it didn't really work out for me because I think there's like fragrance or something and I started reacting. And then after that, I went and got this which is okay. You know, like it just didn't feel as nice as um, it did with the Foreo serum. So then after that, I was looking for another aloe vera gel. I did some research and I found this and this is 98.7% organic ingredients. Like my skin didn't quite react super well to it so I also stopped using it and I went back to the Foreo but I worked out a way to not use so much serum. It's basically a water spray. So actually, right, they say that you can also use this with just water on your face because water is a conductor. It's just that you wouldn't get the benefits of a serum with it. So I spray the water. At one point, I was using like eight pumps or something for the entire face, which was ridiculous. Um, then I have brought it down to about like three or four now. So that is still within, I think, a reasonable amount of serum to use. So for the technique, I've actually been following an advanced technique that I saw from Darcy on the Brazilian Girl channel. It goes on for slightly longer than one cycle on this but I'm finding it quite good. Alright, so rating time! Okay, so for design and build, I think this is a 10. You can just submerge the whole thing in water, it's so easy to wash and it feels really nice in your hand. So rating for usage, I think that very easy. I mean, 10 as well. So for me, when it comes to using tools, uh, my biggest obstacles are time and commitment and this condenses all of that and I, I really like that. So in terms of like charging, I've been using it like over 4 months and like I 
two weeks, stop one week, stop a few days, I go on, but as in, I use it pretty regularly and I haven't had to charge it at all. You don't need the app to use it and once you work out a technique that works for you, it's very easy to do. Um, okay, something that I learned also is that sometimes these apps, when they're connected to tools, it's, I just realised that they're also, it's a, it's a data collection thing. So, that's something that I don't know how you guys feel about it. I, since learning about it, I actually really don't like that. So, whenever I can, I just don't use my tools with apps. Overall effectiveness and performance, I think I would give it a, an 8.5. I don't foresee it getting rid of my lines. I, I haven't seen any difference in my lines at all. But I do like the overall effect of the tautness and my overall skin texture. So uh, some people do see great results, some people don't see any results. For me, I'm really glad that I do see results because it's, uh, yeah, it's nice to have something like this at home, so I'm very happy. <laughs> I do think it is expensive. Um, price is a very personal thing. If you go for treatments outside, that adds up very fast to the price of like one device. The effects will definitely be different because they are allowed to use like different range of currents and all that kind of stuff. But the two things that are main things for me is that it kind of adds up very fast and then also commitment because for me, I'm very bad at sticking to that kind of thing. I, the number of packages that I bought that I've just like dropped out of halfway and the amount of money I wasted there, <sighs> never want to think about it. But this is like, you know, it's at home and then it's like, maybe you stop using it for a while and then you feel like again, you can start using it again and I really like that. Also, it's something that I can commit to every day if I wanted to or not, if I didn't want to. So I do like the flexibility in the area. For investment items, I always think about cost per wear, cost per use and I just usually think about how long I'll be using it for and what it works out to every time I use it. And then I compare it to getting it professionally done and then like how big the difference is in terms of the results and then also which one I can commit to more. So it's like a lot of things ah. But overall, like if I were to look at that, this would be my choice. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. Now, if you want to find out more about everything that's been featured, you can check out the links in the description box below or you can go to our Tried and Tested Facebook page or you can join our new Telegram channel. So exciting. If you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. Now, all you need to do is... Hit that bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes onto YouTube or you can just... Download the Click Network app and you'll be able to watch the videos before they come out to YouTube. Alright, till next time. Go be beautiful!